MISD school board met last night and made a decision about the future of athletics for the girls at the Young Women's Leadership Academy. The school board looked to approve an amendment in the current deal with YWLA that allows students to compete for their home school within MISD. There has been some pushback on this decision from student athletes and their parents, many wanting to know what the plan is or wanting to continue to compete at a higher level. The board did end up deciding to approve the amendment six to one. MISD Executive Director of Athletics Blake Felt explains how the school district's athletic department plans to come alongside the future YWLA program. Uh, we're going to support their athletic programs just like we do our other schools. Uh, they're going to be treated just like uh, Legacy High School and Midland High School and the athletic programs that are there. And we're very, very proud of our athletic programs uh, at those two schools as we are in our junior highs. And we're going to do the same thing at YWLA. Feltz did present a plan that MISD Athletics hopes to implement over the next year to support this new athletics department. YWLA is projected to start at the 3A level and build participation this fall. Then the budget will be finalized by the spring. This time next year, YWLA expects that they will have teams that will be competing in UIL sanctioned competition in swimming, tennis and cross country. Volleyball and basketball will continue to assess interests and compete outside the UIL. Student athletes at YWLA will now have a choice whether or not they want to compete for their school at a lower level or enroll in a 6A within MISD. Victor.